Hello, Grab from Maker's Vlog and follow up from the uh, last short uh, video that I did about the, the microwave being a jammer and that, that is true. It is completely true. You can use that to jam 2.4 gigahertz signals and uh, well, that includes drones. Drones mostly use 2.4 gigahertz, so basically Wi-Fi drones, anything that uses 2.4 gigahertz, which is a lot of remote control devices. And the reason being is that a microwave, one of these, um, uses a device called a magnetron. It sounds very sci-fi, but uh, it's, it's not really. But it um, uses a, a magnetron to generate a 2.4 gigahertz signal at very, very high power. Uh, this one is 800 watts. And it, it uses that to cook the food. And it's the power that it uses to cook the food, not necessarily the frequency. So it's actually a good example of why 5G isn't going to melt your face necessarily because you know here we have a radio signal that we know is safe at uh, shorter or lower powers and dangerous at higher powers you know if you put your hand in a microwave you're going to get a burn it, it's going to suck it's not pleasant but it's the same frequency that your wi-fi uses your phone uses it you know it, it's it's everywhere at low powers and it's perfectly safe at higher powers not quite as safe but power drops off very very quickly it drops off with in accordance with a thing called the inverse square law uh, it basically means that as the distance doubles the power quarters so if you think if you think of like having a light bulb and you have a a, a meter circle around it and that light bulb is giving 100 percent efficiency of light in that meter circle if you extend that to two meters at that two meter point, it's only an efficiency of 25%. Okay, the power quarters and, and um, uh, radio frequency, radio energy drops off that quickly. So it does drop very, very rapidly. So that's why you don't need to worry about the likes of, you know, mobile phone masts and antennas and stuff like that, because you know, the reason they're high power is because they need to be, because the power drops so rapidly, which is why they usually have a little uh, exclusion area around them. If they don't have that exclusion area, it means they're low power. It doesn't mean that they're just going, oh, you can fucking go ahead and touch it and get radiation burns and all that fun stuff. Um, and, and in fact, it's not a radiation burn. It's called an RF burn. Um, but, you know, it, it, they're not saying, oh, yeah, you can just go ahead and lick the antenna. It, no, it means that the mast that's there is low enough power that they don't need an exclusion zone around it effectively. But back to the the... The microwave, as I said, it uses 2.4 gigahertz at high power. So it does mean that if I opened this and turned it on, which I'm not going to do because I'm standing quite close to it, um, it would actually interfere with my Wi-Fi. It would, it would jam Wi-Fi. And it's a, it's a common joke um, whenever anyone asks, so can you build a jamming device? It's like, well, just prop open your microwave and turn it on and you'll be laughing. Um, I am going to do some future videos um, on that where I'm going to strip the magnetron out and make a a gun quote unquote out of it um just putting a you know a bit of directional shielding on it just so that you know i could hold it and it won't fry me um just just for fun but uh it's going to take a while because i don't um fully understand how the magnetron works itself uh, i'm reading the documentation on it and there's a few things i'm not sure about so um it'll definitely be a while before i i uh, i have that ready uh, and it's also really high voltage, so I, I want to be very careful when I'm I'm working with it, because most of the stuff I've worked with is either high power in in RF and radio frequency, and all of the the power that's supplying it is contained, and I don't touch it. Um, so I'm not used to dealing with with high voltage electricity, especially uh, you know uh, whenever I'm stripping the guts out. So it's going to take a while because I want to be very careful about it because I don't want to die. Basically, is the gist. Um, so it'll take a while for me to do and to do a video on it, but there's bit of background on why a microwave is a really good uh, jammer and why 5G isn't going to melt your face. 